Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. Thanks for joining me today. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all the products that I finished up in the month of February. Are you somebody that likes to keep track of all the things that you finish up? I really personally love that because um, I love the, the satisfaction of things coming in and going out and I love getting rid of things. So looking at all of the things in front of me that I finished in the month of February makes my heart pitter patter happy. I usually like to categorize my things in <clears throat> um, three categories. The really awesome, so glad I tried it, will repurchase category the um, you know I'm glad I got to try it but it's not bad but I don't want to buy it category and the I'm never buying this again or I wouldn't buy a full size so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the things that I really didn't like that I, I finished up <clears throat> so that we can end on a high note <clears throat> excuse me okay I have several samples of things <clears throat> that I tried and uh, the first one is this Tarte um, Smoothing prim Primer. This is extremely mattifying and like extremely blurring, like a little too much for my taste. So I did not really enjoy this, but if you're someone that really wants that perfected look, then you would really like this. Another one that I tried, another primer, is the MAC Radiance Studio Radiance Primer. This is a little too glowy for me, so it's kind of like the opposite. That one was way too mattifying and way too blurring. This one is sort of like Tin Man vibes for me and for my skin. And <clears throat> I did not like that. I like glowy, but this was a little too Tin Man-y for me. Um, a moisturizer that I tried was the Clinique Moisture Surge. I just got this in a sample pack and I've tried this before and I knew that I wasn't going to be crazy about it because this is a very gel-like and I prefer something that's a little more um, thick and creamy. So if you, if you maybe have oily skin or you like a lightweight moisturizer, you would definitely like this. Now this one is um, something you can't buy, so I stuck it in this category. It's just some lotion that I got from a hospital stay that I had really quickly in December. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to take the lotion <laughs> with me. So I finished up the lotion, can't buy that. <clears throat> and okay, this is, the, this is the only thing I actually paid for. The Ulta Brush Cleansing Solid Soap. Um, I loved the way that this smelled. Um, but I didn't like the way that it washed anything that had cream stuff on it. So my foundation brushes, my concealer brushes, you know, my like little cream bronzer blush stipple brush. If it had cream on it, this did not do well at all. So eventually I just kind of used this up on my like eyeshadow brushes and stuff. Um, but even still, I had to <clears throat> go in with something extra. Um, to get the rest of the residue off. So this was definitely a miss for me. I'm glad that I tried it though. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the medium category. Um, here I have, oh, I'm really proud of this one. Really proud. Start out with a bang here. This is my Bobbi Brown color corrector and I had this in my Partners in Cream or ex That's Expensive Project Pan and I finished it up. That little bit is like really not even anything to actually use at all. It's like surface level stuff. Okay, I'm so proud that I used this up. I've had this for about three years and I just plugged away at it. I really um, wouldn't buy this again just because I don't think that I need a color corrector. I am I'm in my 40s, early 40s, and you know, I don't need to continue to add things under my eyes. <clears throat> and so, um, also, even though, um, well, okay, so what I found is that things that are really hydrating and really glowy like this, or even the Becca color corrector, it's too glowy. Even when I was in my early 30s and I used the Becca color corrector. It was just too glowy for me. So I wouldn't buy this because I don't like that look on myself. But if you're someone that does like a glowy, you know, um, hydrated under eye, then you would probably like that. So I'm really proud of that. 
Um, and the only other thing that's in front of me in that category that I actually bought was this Naturium Niacinamide Cleanser. I liked this, it was fine. I would prefer something a little bigger, you know, like more. But it was fine, it was a gel cleanser and between my husband and I, we got this used up. It was a little too stripping at the end for my taste, so I, I wouldn't buy this again for myself, but um, I did enjoy it, for sure. Okay, now let's just kind of run through some samples. Um, this I really did enjoy, this Virtue Shampoo and Conditioner Set. Um, it smelled like vanilla, and I've never had a shampoo and conditioner that smelled like vanilla. But it's extremely expensive. Oh, you can get this from Sephora, and so I'm not someone that really like invests a lot of money in my hair, as you can probably tell. Uh, so you know, I really wouldn't want to spend that much money on this. But if you do like um, hair care things, then hey, go give this a try. You might like it. It did a really good job, and it wasn't stripping or anything. So I, I really would buy it if it was not that expensive, for sure. Um, this was the Way Fine Hair Shampoo and Conditioner Packets that I finished up, and they were fine, um, but I, I, it wasn't anything like super special or anything, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy those. It wasn't bad. Just wouldn't buy. Okay, um, I finished up this Youth to the People Polypeptide 121 Future Cream Moisturizer, and again, this was just fine. It wasn't anything to write home about. Um, with, for the price, you know, I can get something from like La Roche-Posay that's nice and hydrating and creamy um, like this and for a lot cheaper. So, um, I also finished up one of my Too Faced Better Than Sex mini mascaras. Um, and this is fine too, but the wand is so enormous. Like, that wand is like an inch and a half long. <laughs> it's so big. And, um, I mean, and maybe other one, let me look. I just have to look. Okay, so this is like my Tarte um, Lax Camera Lashes. I guess it is. I guess maybe like the stick um, being longer actually is the more advantageous than the stick being shorter because then it seems like it's so enormous to be able to get it on your eye and you have to kind of be really careful. So. Um, but anyway, mascara is not something that I like to buy full price, um, like these high-end things. I prefer to buy them when they're on sale at Ulta and things like that. Like this, I got in a set for like $40 and I got three of them. So, you know, it's a good mascara. I would just buy it on sale. Um, okay, I tried and finished this Clarence Total Eye Lift um, eye cream. Obviously, with eye creams and things like this, you have to use it for a long time longer than this to be able to tell if it works so I, I you know it's an eye cream okay now I have four uh, five oh, four, four um, perfume sampler samples in this um, and really I wouldn't buy any of these because they don't stay on my skin long enough and perfume is expensive so I want it to be able to last and enjoy that scent and so I loved the way that these smelled it's just they don't last and I don't want to invest money in something that's going to go away in two hours. Um, it, the first one was the Valentino Donna Born in Roma. That was very nice. Um, the Versace uh, Bright Crystal. Loved this one, but it just didn't stay. Prada Candy. Tried that. And uh, the this one seems like it has some in it, but it won't squirt out anymore. Uh, the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I actually have a couple of samples of these. And I really like them, but they are, they just don't stay. Okay, so now for the things that I will repurchase with two kind of like caveats. I will repurchase it, but not this exact same thing. Okay. The first thing is um, two of these Bliss Block Star SPF 30 sunscreens. Love, love, love the sunscreen. Um, and I will definitely repurchase a full size of this. This is a very lightweight sunscreen with no white cast at all. It's not hydrating. It's not too hydrating, but it's also not mattifying. It's kind of like that perfect in between. It does have a scent with it, but I don't mind that scent. I actually kind of enjoy it. And it has like a little bit of a tint to it, if you can kind of see right there. 
but the tint goes away. It doesn't actually provide any coverage. So I think this would work for anybody, um, no matter what your skin tone is. Okay, um, this one is the perfume sample that is already added to my cart, and I'm just kind of waiting to go through some perfume samples before I actually pull the trigger on this. And it's the Marc Jacobs Daisy. <laughs> Sorry, I can't see that. Marc Jacobs Daisy, love this so much. It stays on my skin for a good enough amount of time to justify the $100 price tag of the perfume. Love it. I have already bought this. This was the only makeup product that I'm allowing myself to buy before Black Friday as part of my no buy. And I'll link that video below so that if you're curious about a no buy, um, you can check that video out. Um, you know, this makeup journey that I am on is really about trying to like tone back my consumption and enjoying the things that I have. And if you're somebody who really kind of has that mindset, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel because that's what I like to talk about on my pro on my channel. We do project pans here and I update you on my no buy and how I'm doing on my mindful consumerism journey. Okay, so um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer. This is a, ma a mattifying primer that is not too mattifying. It's just enough that's gonna work really well with my hydrating foundations over the summer when my skin does get a little more oily um, and I have a lot of hydrating foundations. So I need this to kind of tone down that hydrating factor without making me look like a sheet of paper. <laughs> so, love that. And I have already bought the full size. Okay, now something else I have finished, and I will, I will rebuy, I will repurchase this once I finish some other samples that I have of the same kind of thing. Um, and it's the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. It's an AHA serum that I put on like every two to three nights. And I just have a lot of samples of AHA like glycolic acid kind of serums. And so I'm gonna work through those before I purchase this again. But this was wonderful. It provides a, a beautiful glow to your skin. It looks so smooth. It, it does a really, really great job of doing exactly what it says, which is resurfacing your skin. Okay, I have two Bath and Body Works products that I finished up and they are some lotions. This was in the scent Sweater Weather and I love this scent so much, so, so much. I, I think I bought a either a body wash or a candle also in this scent, and so this is a seasonal scent, and I would definitely repurchase this again in the fall, because it's sweater weather, obviously it's a fall scent. Um, definitely, definitely. Candle, the candle though, I will say the candle, it was a candle I bought. The candle was, um, not the same scent so I wouldn't buy the candle version I would probably buy like the lotion and a, maybe a body wash as well um, and this was the aromatherapy eucalyptus and spearmint um, but I didn't really like it in this form I, I prefer the one that's like in a bottle and a pump um, it just is not quite as strong like I love the way that this smells and even in the candle of this it's it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> um, but that pump um, lotion pump is really good and their bubble bath like bought a bath <laughs> body wash bubble bath kind of stuff is the same scent but I just prefer that better because it's not quite as intense and not quite as strong and the last two things that I have for you today are um, Shea sugar scrubs from tree hut and they are seasonal scents I finished up the candy cane scent um, the candy cane of the sugar scrub is way better than the shave oil and I've also heard different than the lotion. It, the, the shave oil that I'm, I'm almost finished with, it's just not the same. It's kind of the same, but it's not the same. I prefer this. So 
this will definitely be, I have, this is the second one of these that I bought. So I will definitely buy that again. And then the last one was a new scent that I tried this year, which was Holiday Cheer. And it was kind of piney and sweet and citrusy. And it was um, very, very festive for the Christmas season time. So I will definitely buy that one again next year. I hope that you enjoyed um, watching all of my empties and I will put the total of all of my empties here. I have a goal as part of my no buy to finish $750 worth of empties in during this year and I got almost halfway there in January because I had a lot of really expensive things that I finished. So I'm going to put the I'll tell you what the total is for this month and then here I'm gonna tell you what the total is for the year I think I might definitely reach my goal before <laughs> before June who knows we'll see thanks so much for watching all the way to the end and I will see you in my next video bye